we're back! Needed a minute after that stuff that the innocent gun people thought they could get away with calling beer. What be going down, people of the world? Redbeard here, coming at you from his couch. Welcome to Daily Drink Vlog, fucking whatever type thing, number 77.2? This be the second half of the St. Patrick's Day special type thing that we're doing. Cause, I don't know, it's fun! Wee! Here's always all the thanks in the whole web world to those who watch my videos, the beard loves you all so much! Anyway, for the third beer type thing of the today, we're gonna crack open a can of Magner's Irish Cider. It says product of Ireland, so yeah, it works. Yeah, figured this would be a decent little precursor to the finale that's going to be right after this. The bad finale. <laughs> Let's get in this bitch. For this glass. Let's see what we got. I'm, yeah, I, I expected it to be pretty clear. It's cider. And probably not too heady, like even if I do something like this. Probably still, oh, the decent actually, this is, yeah. Wow. Huh. That looks really good, it looks like ginger ale or something. Definitely has an apple cider smell to it. Let's give her a shot. That's not bad. A lot of apple ciders, they're a little low on the carbonation. This is higher and it kind of brings out the, the bite of the apple a little more. Not bad at all. Let's do this. Very smooth. Just apple-y flavors everywhere. Magner's Irish Cider. This just, this says cider beverage on it. So I think it's kind of along the lines of a crazy beard type thing, maybe. 4.5% alcohol. Made with 17 varieties of apple. That's a lot of apples. Ingredients. Cider, sugar, citric acid, color, sodium, metabisulfate, Contains sulfates. Sulfites. So this is a lot like the Crazy Beard, actually. It's naturally gluten-free. Hooray! Damn it, it says serve over ice. I did not do that. But then there wouldn't have been room if I put ice in there. It would have, like, overflowed. It doesn't need ice. It's good. It's tasty. Yeah. But, once again, like my criticism of the Crazy Beard, and a lot of other apple-infused beer type things, like, just, just brew the beer with the apples. Like, I don't understand why that can't be a tasty thing. Why you gotta add all this sugar? Why? Why you gotta be so sugary? Huh? Huh? Why? Because, you know, while it's very tasty, it's also very not good for you or me or anybody. So, damn. It is pretty tasty. Although I don't think 17 varieties of apple was really necessary. It's a little overkill on the number of apple varieties there, Magners. Just, just a little bit. Just a little, just a little bit. Yeah, that's right. I might have a little bit of a buzz going on. Maybe. It's very sweet. 
The apple flavors are actually kind of, I don't know, it's weird. It tastes like the bad part of an apple almost. Like in the back of the throat? I don't know. It's odd. It's still tasty, but it's just, it's, it's got some oddness to it. Drinking different beers and then a cider seems to be a very effective way to make a person intoxicated kind of quickly. I am, uh, I'm like borderline hammered right now. Maybe it's just the speed that I'm drinking these at. I don't know. One more to go after this. Oh, it's a bad idea. As far as this stuff goes, though, quite tasty. And I'm pretty sure we can call this drink number the last. Yeah, I think so. Oh, yeah. Very, very, very taster. Taster? Really? Very tasty cider beverage, or whatever you call it. Yeah, cider beverage. It's kind of weird. Too much sugar, but tasty. Meh. Anyway, Magners, your original cider beverage thing, whatever the hell it is. Thumbs up from the beard. Just don't drink a lot of them because it's very sugary. And once again, that is going to do it for that drink in this video. Because here comes another one. Yeah. So for the final drink of the today, we are going to make something from a can of Guinness and a little tester of Weiser's Hopped Whiskey. This is going to become an Irish car bomb. And I am fucking terrified of it. Start with this bitch. Oh yeah, this is one of the weird ones with a fucking thing in it. Widgety fucking weirdness. Pour it, get the shit. Make sure she's good. The Cascade. The one thing I love about Guinness is the Cascade. That is one of the coolest things in the world. I love watching that. I'm not sure how well you can see it. But it's awesome. Set that aside for a moment while we crack open this. Friend Kathy recommended this for an Irish car bomb because this stuff is dark ale style. So she thought it would mix nicely with the Guinness. Lil Crack on coming to say hello. Lil Crack on. Come on. Oh, that's. That's pretty full. Okay. Pint of the Guinness. Oh, this is such a bad idea. Can you even fit? You gonna be okay? I have a bad feeling that as soon as I drop this in, it's gonna make a mess. Damn it! I need to do something about this. Okay. Ma made a little modification here. I got a towel on me. So if it does spill over, I can... I can contain the spillage. Here we go. That actually worked surprisingly well. Minimal spillage, weird, freaky looking bubbles. Oh, Christ. Here goes the Irish car bomb. Fuck! Oh! Surprisingly, I'm actually getting like weird notes of chocolate and stuff. Oh, 
Oh, oh! Everything else though is just fucked. Shit. The shot glass didn't even fall all the way down into the fucking Guinness glass. Wait, no, yeah, I did. That just looks really weird. I don't know if you can see that. But it looks like it didn't fall all the way down, but it actually did. It's the bottom of the shot glass. Oh! It's so bad! Attempt number two? Oh. This is awful! This is absolutely terrible! People of Ireland, you're completely justified if you feel offended by the name of this. Irish car bomb. Because it's fucking horrible! Oh, oh my god! The tastes that are lingering in my mouth are indescribable. Oh, here goes attempt number three. Oh. Oh. Maybe? No, I'll do it again. Here goes attempt number three. Oh my god. That'll do it! Good enough! Oh my god! Jesus Christ! I might throw up! Quite surprisingly, no vomit. <laughs> but I'm not feeling so good right now. Oh! Don't, don't try to do any kind of Irish car bomb thing. It's not a good idea. It's a bad idea. Motherfucker! Oh. So, um... I can't really do any kind of thumbs up or thumbs down kind of thing for these two drinks, because... That wouldn't really be... I can say Irish Car Bomb? Not recommended by the beard! Fuck no! <laughs> ah! Ah! And that is going to do it for today's daily drink fucking whatever type thing. Happy St. Patrick's Day to all of you wa- To all of you? To all of you watching this video. Fuck. If you're not watching this video, then I'm not talking to you. Well, obviously. If you like the video, then be sure to smash that like button with your face. Whoop yo! Whoop yo! Whoop! <laughs> yep. Thanks again, and I'll be back very, 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 very soon. Peace out! Let's give her a shot. Jesus Christ! Oh! That's a lot of bitterness in the back of the throat. Yeah, the beard is supposed to go out tonight with friends of his and drink even more for St. Patrick's Day. I don't know if that's going to happen now. Ugh. Oh. <laughs>